Hey Stonebridge community, Dr. McGuire here. Uh, we are going to talk about our field day awards that we typically be giving at this time of year and talk about the results from our field day at home events that happened this past weekend. So first off, I just want to thank everybody for showing so much blue gold spirit over the past couple weeks and culminating through the events this past weekend. It's really filled the community with joy to see so many smiles out there competing, showing your colors while we're at a distance. So thank you all for that. Before we get to the part about where we announce the most important award, uh, we do have to announce our traditional field day awards by grade, which we'll get to in a minute. But first, I'd like to thank all the athletic staff, all the communication staff, and our blue gold uh, reps uh, from the upper school for helping us come up with the field day events and keeping us uh, maintaining the great spirit at Stone Ridge over the past couple weeks. And I look forward to working together with the SRPA and the Fathers Club when we get back to campus and can have these traditional events again. For all award winners, we will be sending the physical awards to you at home or delivering them, or you can pick them up on campus. We'll be connecting with you separately so we can coordinate that. To begin with, our first award is the Beckler Award. And the Beckler Award is giving to the father who has attended the most consecutive field days the award is named in memory of Dick Beckler, who with his six daughters attended more than 30 field days over his tenure with Stone Ridge. The award winner for this year has attended field days dating back all the way to 2004. We are so honored this year to recognize Mr. Omar Malehi. Congrats, Mr. Malehi. Our first group of awards will be our lower school awards. Our lower school PE teachers, Sarah Kiernan and Kelly Donahue, presented these awards to the students in a live virtual field day event last Friday. However, today we will share the awards recipients with the entire school community. The first award is the Gator Award, which is given to the girl in each of our four lower school grades that demonstrates an understanding of school spirit and she always demonstrates a positive attitude, cooperates with and supports her classmates as she develops her skills and helps others to develop to their best potential. Our Gator Awards for this year are presented to, in grade one, Melrose Perrier Davenport. In grade two, Serena Netron. In grade three, Addison Bradshaw. And in grade four, Vivian Lang. Our second awards for lower school are the lower school sports award named the Jill Donahue Sports Award in 2015. These awards are given to the lower school girl in each grade that consistently puts forth her best effort in all activities and shows good sportsmanship and is a graceful loser as much as she is a good winner. The Jill Donahue Sports Awards this year are presented to, in grade one, Harper Briscoe, in grade two, Lauren Sheldon, in grade three, Natalie Rossetti, and in grade four, Samantha Scott. Lastly, for the lower school, our award given is the Kroll Award, which, is given, which was given for the first time on field day in 1995 in memory of Kyle Kroll, who was the class of 2003 and died during the summer of 1994 in an accident. Kyle was an excellent athlete, and she and her father truly enjoyed field days here at Stone Ridge and the Kroll Family Award is given to the fourth grade student that, who is athletic, a good sport, a welcoming friend, and a contributor to school spirit in Kyle's memory. The 2020 Kroll Award winner is Alexander Watley. Our next group of awards are our middle school awards. To begin with, we'll start with two special uh, awards that are given to grade eight students. The first award is a sportsmanship award which goes to a student who is a great team motivator, an athlete who has consistently demonstrated exemplary sportsmanship and team spirit. The 2020 Sportsmanship Award winner is Fiona Volanth. The second special award for a grade eight student is the Julian Gillespie Award, which is presented in the name and honor of Mr. Gillespie, a father of Stone Ridge graduates and past president of the Stone Ridge Parents Club and member of the advisory board. He was a vocal supporter of Stone Ridge Athletics. This award recognizes the athlete in middle school who is an unsung hero, who practices hard, is supportive of her teammates, 
a dedicated athlete, and an extremely positive contributor to the teams that she plays on. The 2020 Julian Gillespie Award winner is Maddie Bolin. Moving on, the middle school also presents a sports award by grade level. Created in 2015, the Beth Ennis Middle School Sports Award goes to the top athletes from each class in the middle school. This student embodies the goals of Sacred Heart Education. She's respectful of her teammates, coaches, and opposing players and game officials, and she's supportive of her teammates and shows great team spirit. She strives to develop her potential while also developing the potential of her classmates. Selecting these students was extremely difficult as there's so many unbelievable Stonebridge students who exemplify these qualities. Our Beth Ennis Sports Awards this year are presented to, in grade five, Katherine Norton. In grade six, Emma Mabry. In grade seven, Chase Tobin. And in grade eight, Katherine Carr. Our next group of awards are for our upper school students, primarily seniors. Our first field day award for the upper school students is our Gator Strong Award. The Stonebridge mantra of Gator Strong originated from its emphasis on developing physically and mentally strong young women and girls. However, it has grown for, into a much deeper meaning and the phrase Gator Strong has evolved to more widely define what it means to be part of the Stone Ridge community and more specifically what it means to be a Stone Ridge girl coming together around a cause, building self-confidence to speak up for our beliefs standing up for a Stone Ridge sister, or reaching out to a member of the community that needs a friend. The 2020 Gator Strong Award winner is a multi-sport student athlete having competed in field hockey and lacrosse throughout her four years. She has also been a leader and a member of numerous student organizations. This young woman has demonstrated the importance of a strong body, strong heart, strong faith, and a strong mind in being the heart and soul of her teams and someone who all of her teammates have always looked up to. I am pleased to present the 2020 Kevin Duffy Gator Strong Award to Lily Montemorano. Our next upper school award is the Spirit Award, given to a senior who has had a strong influence on her team due to her enthusiasm and positive attitude. This senior also supports other athletic teams and the athletic program as a whole. This year's Spirit Award winner goes to a senior who is a true Stone Ridge girl that I'm pretty sure lost her voice at almost every sporting event I saw her at, whether she was participating or leading the student section in cheers. Her influence was felt well beyond just her teams and by the entire Gator community. And I think her ultimate goal was getting this, name, getting this award named after her at some point. I am pleased to announce and present the 2020 Spirit Award to Cami Corcoran. Our next upper school award is the Sportsmanship Award, which is given to a senior that demonstrates positive leadership and role modeling in victory or defeat. She embodies the spirit and goals and criteria of Sacred Heart Education. This year's Sportsmanship Award recipient epitomizes sportsmanship having been a member of the soccer, basketball, track, and lacrosse programs. Her leadership and role modeling have not only inspired students, but also faculty and staff. Her work ethic, support of her teammates, and respect for opposing teams and officials exudes a model for all SR student athletes to follow. She embodies the goals of Sacred Heart education in the Sacred Heart traditions and is a consistent model of what it means to be a Stone Ridge student athlete. I am pleased to present the 2020 Sportsmanship Award to Cece Brooks. Next for upper school, the Athletic Leadership Award is given to the senior who shows great leadership by her actions as well as her ability to motivate and inspire her teammates. She leads not only in, with positive words, but by example. While she is not necessarily a captain on all of her teams, her coaches, teammates, and athletic department recognize her for her role as a leader on and off the field. 
This student has been instrumental in elevating the entire Stone Ridge Athletics program and leaving her teams in a better place than when she started on them only a few years ago. She has competed primarily in field hockey and lacrosse, serving as a team captain on each varsity team. We cannot thank this student enough for modeling dedication throughout her time at Stone Ridge. I am pleased to present the 2020 Athletic Leadership Award to Caroline Hertzberg. Next, the Upper School Award for the Student Athlete Award is presented to someone who best exemplifies the extreme balance required to excel in both the classroom and her sports. The 2020 Student Athlete Award struck this balance extremely well, highly achieving in both the classroom by always putting academics first while also performing at an extremely high level as a four-year member of both the varsity soccer and varsity lacrosse teams starting for both programs, serving as a captain, and contributing significantly to the success of both programs over the past few years. I am pleased to present the 2020 Student Athlete Award to Maeve Dolan. Lastly for the upper school is the Bonifant Wilson Best All-Around Athlete Award, which is given to a senior who is recognized as one of the top athletes in her sport and who excels at other Stonebridge sports as well. This student athlete is recognized for her talents by the league or by the Washington Post or other regional um, entities. This student athlete exhibits good sportsmanship and good citizenship and is dedicated to Stonebridge Athletics and her teams. The 2020 Bonifant Wilson Award recipient is extremely hardworking, dedicated, and a talented student athlete. In her freshman year, this student played on four teams, soccer, ice hockey, swimming and diving, and lacrosse. And I know that if there was enough time in the day and no rules against participation, she probably would have tried to play for at least 20 Stone Ridge teams during her tenure. Her love for competition, amazing athletic abilities, and her love for representing Stone Ridge really set this student athlete apart. There's not enough time to list the endless accomplishments this student achieved while wearing a Stone Ridge swim cap over the past four years, and many of us know what she has accomplished at national and international competitions outside of Stone Ridge. After breaking countless records, including a national high school record this year, and leading her team to both league and metro championships, as well as being named the All Met Swimmer of the Year, I am incredibly pleased to present the 2020 Bonifant Wilson Best All Around Athlete Award to Phoebe Bacon. Is that the end of it? Yep. Okay. Congratulations to all award winners. Finally, we're ready for the blue gold point tallies of our. Of our Field Day Home Edition. Again, I'd like to thank all athletic staff, communications staff, and the Blue Gold student leaders, especially Maeve Dolan and Kayla Kincaid as Blue Gold captains for all of their efforts in organizing this year's at-home event. In this unprecedented time, the Stone Ridge administration has chosen to fly both the blue and the gold flags at Gator Field in a display and reminder of unity for the upcoming academic year. However, we did have an overall winner, which we will be announcing, and we had some amazing results from our at-home field day activities. Please make sure to check out the field day webpage for highlights and pictures and videos that were submitted. Some of the notable results from the past weekend included several dads and daughters reaching over a couple hundred consecutive catches with the Frisbee toss, a handful of students and dads going a perfect 20 for 20 on the Skittles toss, six groups, throwing and catching an egg at more than 90 feet apart, and most importantly, as students, a ton of typers typing at more than 95% accuracy on the typing test. However, when it came down to the overall team scores, although the margin was very small, one team won across all three divisions. In fact, in the upper school, the second place team only won the laundry folding challenge. We will find out the winner 
by watching Coach Bob and Coach Phil help us raise both flags on the turf. We're going to see which flag gets raised faster for the winner. Coach Bob and Phil, ready, go! Congratulations to the gold team! And we're also going to bring the blue flag up. Congratulations to Gold for this year's events, and thank you to everyone for showing so much school spirit over the past couple weeks and staying engaged with the Stone Ridge community. We hope everyone has a safe and healthy summer, and we can't wait to see everyone next year back in person. Stay safe, Gators. Congrats, Gold team. I put on my Gold jersey in honor of you guys and all of your efforts this past weekend, and now we're gonna have Coach Bob ring the bell at the pool as we always do.